150 pounds of makeup can't hide how tired you are. I have terrible eye bags under my eyes right now, so I'm so sorry about how gross I look. Anyways, way back when I posted a poll of, hey, what videos do you want me to make? And the winner for that poll was a rant video about why I hate popular cosplayers. Ah! I've been like kind of debating whether to make this video or not, and finally I'm like, okay, well, I'm kind of done with their crap, so I'm gonna call... I'm gonna call some people out, not really, generally speaking, I'm gonna call everybody out. Cause I'm just, it just makes me so aggravated, you know? And I like, whatever. So for the purposes of this video, I'm defining a popular cosplayer as someone with over 10,000 followers. And this is mainly directed towards Instagram cosplayers in case you're wondering, because they're the ones that make me insane. But, <laughs> Lainey. You have over 10,000 followers, you you hypocrite. Have you seen my Instagram account? Like, I lose 10 to 20 followers a day, so not for long. That was my attempt at a wink. I think I winked with both eyes. No, like, it, it's seriously, popular Instagram cosplayers are such a joke, so I'm gonna go through what I hate about them, basically. So, and enjoy this really petty video, and yes, I am fully aware about how petty it is, but... Oh my god, I hate myself. So, let's just start off by the fact, this is like no secret, anybody, it's just very apparent with the accounts that get popular, is how you get popular to begin with, is either you are super, super pretty, you hop on your like bandwagons, which like, that's what I do. Me and my Voltron videos, what do you think I'm doing there? Or you lewd up some characters. Which like, nothing wrong with all three of these, it's just that these are the main three ways to get popular really fast. The thing is that you rarely see a cosplayer get popular based off of their own passion, based off of their like pure talents. It always has to do with an external factor of, wow, this person's ridiculously pretty. Wow, this person has great curves. Or like, wow, I love Voltron. I'm gonna watch all these Voltron vlog videos. P.S. Check them out. I'm kidding, I hate myself. <laughs> I could care less, but I just wanted to define that like that's how you get popular and the thing is that Because we aren't putting people up there that are actually, you know, super passionate about it We're mainly putting people up there like who are Decently shallow and we're giving these people influence We're creating these terrible role models for younger cosplayers and younger generations to follow we're setting this example of the only way you're going to be popular, you're going to be pretty, is if you look like this, if you do this, if you act like whatever. When that's not the case, we shouldn't be setting that example for people. So I'm going to just go into specifics now about what precisely I hate. That sounds so terrible, but I don't even know how to explain this. This video is going to be petty. I said that and let's just get started. Also, guys, this probably won't focus on my face, but Look at this insanely cute dress I'm wearing. Ugh, it has cats on it. The, the pockets are cats. Now we'll get started. I have a list of, list of the ways on my phone. So one of the things that I've noticed is, I'm just gonna talk about cosplayers, selling used cosplays. If you guys wanna see like a cosplay rant video about selling you used cosplays, please comment down below. I think the used cosplay community is like, it's so messed up. There's people trying to sell cosplays with like stains on them that are worth like $30, but they're selling them for $320. And you're like, I'm not paying this much money for your like grossly fluid stains and like, ugh. But anyways, something I've noticed with popular cosplayers is that they'll try to sell their used cosplays. And like nothing wrong with that, I understand. I, I went through a phase where I sold a lot of cosplays but I also like price mark them down. I'm like, okay, this is how many times I wore it. This is how long I wore it for. This is the original price it was. This is where I got it from. Like blah, 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 blah. Here's my video review. So you know exactly what you're getting. And I gave it like a fair price. But I see these popular cosplayers who are like, because I wore it and I'm a goddess, I'm gonna double the price for it. And it's, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick little story here. There was this cosplay shop that started up. They no longer are in business though. And at first they were selling these dirt cheap cosplays. And this one really popular cosplayer, 
<laughs> I don't want to get sued, so you're gonna remain nameless, but I'm throwing you some shade right now. She bought this cosplay for $25. It was a character from Danganronpa, and it was one of the like uh, Saifuku kind of style things for $25, right? Perfect. She wore it for a photo shoot and sprinkled it, sprayed it, splashed it with fake blood, like pink, bright pink fake blood. Then a few months later, she tries to sell it. And I'm looking at it and she's like, selling this for $45, warning it is stained. And like, and she posts photos of the like bright pink magenta stains that are like, I mean, they're a little faded now because she tried to wash it and it just didn't wash out. But I'm there and I'm like, I saw your review for when you bought this for $25. Why are you charging $45 for it? When it's stained and used and you bought it for less, like that's not how it works. You don't make money off of buying cosplays from people. Like buying cosplays from company. That was terribly worded. So because I'm me, what I did was I screenshotted the post and I sent it to the store and I'm like, Hey, this is what this cosplayer is doing. I don't think this is right. This cosplayer has a large influence. I believe she had like 15,000 at the time. And I'm like, I don't know what you want to do. I just thought you should, that like you should be aware that she's selling your cosplays, but making a profit off of it. And they weren't aware of it. They weren't a part of it. And they're like, thank you so much for telling me this is not okay. I'm gonna say something. So that is just a trend I've been noticing in the cosplay community that these cosplayers are like, I'm gonna buy this cosplay and then sell it for a million more dollars. And it'll be a bot cosplay. Now I understand if you actually made the cosplay and you put in all of those hours and those efforts, because like, yeah, you wanna get something out of that. If you spent $200 on materials and you spent 20 hours like making that cosplay, yes, you wanna charge a lot for that. But if it's something you bought for less than $30 and you're selling it from like double the price, that's just not okay. It's not an okay thing to do. So that's just my rant about it is that's a trend I've been noticing a lot is when popular cosplayers sell their stuff. Ooh, my next one is Photoshop. I love this. Oh, we're gonna start off with another little tangent story. Yay! Editing. We're gonna talk about photo editing for a second. What I pride myself on as a cosplayer and someone who posts to Instagram is that I barely edit my photos. What I'll do is I'll raise the exposure, I'll fix colors, and I do have like a skin condition that makes my skin look disgusting all the time. So if it's really flaring up, I will smooth out like any blemishes because that just hits my, my confidence. Ugh. But I'm not someone who will ever like, you know, change my beautiful jaw shape. Although I try to hide it sometimes with wigs or I'm not gonna like make my nose small. Like this is part of me. I'm not gonna change it. I know that the people watching this, I, they don't like it. I get a lot of comments of, <laughs> you're too masculine to cosplay female characters. Your jaw's too square to cosplay this character. Your nose is too big. And it's like, just grow up. Like this is a part of me. You can deal with it because I'm gonna keep posting what I want to and I'm not gonna change myself for you guys. And I guess that people editing their photos really bothers me from the standpoint that I used to do it when I was younger. You can like scroll back on my Instagram or like find my old account and see how I edited them. Where I did used to like go to the more extreme side of it, I guess, because I was so unhappy and I just, I saw all these cosplayers with their perfect heart shaped faces and little noses and big eyes and like perfect lips. And I'm like, I wanna look like that. I don't look like that. I'm not gonna be successful. I'm not gonna be happy unless I do look like that. So I went through a phase where I was editing my photos and at the end of the day, it was like, wow, this is not making me any happier. If anything, this is making me feel worse about myself because the person that they're complimenting, the person they're saying, oh, your cosplay is so cute too. It's not me. It's like this edited fake version. So back to this little tangent story. I went off on a tangent for my tangent. This, this J fashion wasn't cosplay, it was J fashion. She posted a photo. She's leaning against a pole like this with like one leg out, right? <laughs> Sorry for that. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, okay, I got a five in AP portfolio for drawing portraits and like bodies. <laughs> that's, that's not what a human body looks like. Your legs are not three times as long as your torso is when it's a straight on shot. It's just, no. 
So I like zoomed in on the photo too and I see the stretch marks. The stretch marks from where the photo was elongated from like her waist down to make her legs super thin and small. In her bio it said something cheesy like, no edits, all me, or like, whatever. And the description, this is where it got me, the description of the post said, comment something nice about me down below. What? What? So, because I am me and I'm this salty social justice warrior, not really person, I commented like, hey, because of like the influence you have, I believe she had around 50,000 followers. I wish you wouldn't edit your photos to this extreme. You're a role model to younger cosplayers and J fashion community members. And you're setting this example of that, like you need to use Photoshop to be pretty. I'm like, if you're gonna edit, like please at least own up to it. And the comments back were just, you're jealous you're not this pretty. There's different body types, you know? You've never seen someone this pretty. And like, just ridiculous, you're jealous kind of comments. And I'm there like, what am, what am I jealous of exactly? Like I'm jealous of someone who's fake? Someone who doesn't exist? I'm jealous of an edit? It just like, it doesn't make sense in my mind. Like how can you be jealous of someone that doesn't actually exist? Like I get it, but in my mind it's like, you're not real. I can't be jealous of you if you don't exist. And it was just like funny for me to watch because then she posted to her story all of these like body shots of I'm unedited, I am all natural. And I'm like, girl, I can see where it was edited in the background. I know what Photoshop is. Just own up to it, it's not that hard. Like I have nothing against people editing their photos. I think it's a good thing to do, especially if you're a photographer but just own up to it. I could care less if you edit. Just say that you do though. Don't give these young, impressionable people the idea that you were made like a, a solid 10 out of 10 because I'm sorry, but you, like, you weren't. You have imperfections. Everybody has imperfections. Stop trying to sell the idea that you're made out of gold, that you're perfect. Because then you're sending the idea to your audience that this is how you need to look. Which, no, you don't. You don't need to look like that because nobody looks like that. You're setting these unrealistic expectations for your following. And it's like, why would you do that? I don't wanna call out anybody even for the negatives, but like something that I really appreciated was I saw that Night Maya actually posted like, yes, I do edit my nose. I'm on, like the shape of it makes me super conscientious. So I edit it. And I like, I gained so much respect for him from that one post where I was like very iffy on him and then he posted that and I'm like, I have mad respect that you actually owned up to editing your photos because barely any popular cosplayers do and they just try to sell it off of this is my natural looks when it's so obviously not. But the thing is that if you're not familiar with Photoshop and photography and art and proportions, you're never gonna know that. That was one really long rant, but there's my Photoshop one. Oh God, this one's so controversial. Ah! We're gonna talk about e-bagging for a moment. Yay! So I was raised in a family where I had to work for everything I have. I mean, speaking to you right now, I work over 40 hours per week. Up until a couple weeks ago, I was working about 65 with three jobs, one of which just ended. That was at the Renaissance Fair, which I'm going to post a rant about because it was horrible. But the thing is that I work really hard for what I have. I do not believe in a free lunch. I don't think anything is free. I don't want anything handed to me. I want to earn it. And it just leaves this bitter taste in my mouth when I see e-begging. If you don't know what e-begging is, it's when a social media influencer, they post their GoFundMe or their Amazon wish list or their coffee, Ko-Fi? And they're like, hey, buy me stuff. Just for funsies though, because I'm broke and I want So yeah but you don't get anything in return. Like that just, it feels so gross and wrong to ask your audience to have a bunch of free crap. Like I understand sponsorships because you know, it's a business thing. You get some stuff, they get some stuff out of it. I have nothing against Patreon. I have mad respect for cosplayers who use Patreon because that is a lot of planning and a lot of work. What I do have a problem with though is cosplayers who just expect their audience to buy them things. I'm like thinking in my head how many cosplayers I know who do this, but they post these like guilt trippy things online of 
I'm so depressed, it'd make me so happy if you bought something for me from my Amazon wish list. Or cosplayers who are like, I'm in a really tough place right now, here's my PayPal for donations. And then the next post they have is like all this new free crap that they bought and you're there thinking in your head, did I donate money for you because like you actually needed it or because you wanted to use me to get like merchandise. It just, it feels so gross to me. I think that you should work for what you have. It should be an equal exchange. I don't think people should just give you money. I think if anything, you should be selling prints. You should be giving back. You should have a Patreon and being like, okay, you donated this amount. Here's what you get back. I mean, like that defeats the point of donations, but like if you're a Patreon, you get that back. I don't really believe in donations towards cosplayers, if that makes sense. And I get that's like a controversial thing because people are like, oh, I need to fund my cosplay. This is how I get it funded. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, me too. I make money off of YouTube. That's how I fund my cosplay and all my crap. I have two jobs apart from YouTube. I work this, like this amount, but I pay for it myself. I don't expect other people to be my support system. I don't expect them to give me stuff for free. I don't understand it, to be honest. Maybe if you could shed some light on this down in the comment section, that'd be great. But just for me, from my personal standpoint, it just feels gross. I don't like people I, like e-begging. And I guess for my next point too, on the same kind of like e-begging tangent is that people begging for likes. I don't like people holding content hostage. This is my next point, by the way. I see a lot of popular cosplayers who will be like, my new look isn't going up until my last post gets a thousand likes. Dude, just why? That's so lame. I, I don't get it. And I, uh, that sounds so hypocritical because like yesterday was my birthday or whatever and I'm like, hey, if I hit 15,000 followers, like I'll make whatever video you want me to, which I guess is like kind of the same thing. Oh my God, I feel so gross and hypocritical saying that. Ah! It's like, I did it once, but I see these people doing it every single day where it's like, if my post doesn't get 2000 likes, I'm deleting my account. It's just like, why? Why do you care that much? I don't like, I don't get it. I don't get why it's so important to you to have likes. Like it means nothing. It, is it real money? No. Is it like real friends? No. It has no value. It has no materialistic real value. It just makes no sense to me. I don't understand why people, like they put their self worth on their amount of likes. That seems so stupid to me. I don't, and I guess like at one point in time, a few years ago, I was really obsessed with it. And maybe that's why it so bothers me is that I was like hardcore obsessed with social media where I was getting like, thousand followers on Instagram every two to three months. I was getting like so many posts for likes and like I was so obsessed and I like I use that as a shield which is another point. Someone would like pick on me and I would be like well I have 3,000 followers so F you. But at the end of the day like I grew out of that and I was like that's, that's so stupid. Why was I ever like that? And sometimes it comes back but I just need to remind myself like that's not it's not important, it has no real value. It doesn't mean I'm more successful or less successful than someone else based on how many likes you have. And I just wish people would stop using their followers as like this little army and this little shield. It's stupid, it's so stupid. My next one is looted up. So I have nothing against loot cosplayers. Like I think some of them are really gorgeous, not gonna lie, and I'm like, Bless you and your body confidence because you're smoking. But at the same time, it bothers me when cosplayers, they know their audience is underage. And how you know this is that there's different functions on YouTube and Instagram where you can see your demographics and you can see my main age group is from 12 to 18 or my main age group is from 18 to 24 or whatever. These cosplayers who a majority of their audience are, are little kids, you know, middle school, high schoolers, they loot up characters. And it's like, please know your audience. If you're going to do more sexualized characters, then tag it as such, or like switch your audience gear and what you're directed to. Don't direct these loot cosplays towards people who are underage because you're gonna give them the impression that they need to loot up cosplayers. And then we have minors that are posting like inappropriate photos and it's not a good end to anything. So if your audience is like directed towards older groups, by all means, go straight ahead, loot them up. It just makes me uncomfortable when like minors see those photos and they get the thoughts of, oh, I'm gonna start posting lewds. 
a lot of cosplayers who are underage have been like doing that lately and it just Please wait until you're 18 or whatever age it is in your country. Please just wait. And while I'm on this track too, something else that really bothers me, this is really controversial too. A trend I've been noticing with, you know, some popular cosplayers, one of which she got called out massively recently. Yay! This cosplayer in specific, she would loot up underage characters. And these characters would be like 10, 11, 8 years old. And she would lewd them up with like lingerie shoots, really provocative poses. And it just like, it makes me personally uncomfortable when I see an underage character sexualized like that because in my head I'm like, wow, this character is 12. They should, they should not be dressed like this. And maybe that's just me because I'm like a bit of a prude. So comment like your thoughts on this down below, but it just makes me really uncomfortable. Okay, I have two more points. One of which is like an overall, but this next one. Buying versus making your cosplays with professional cosplayers. A lot of time your worth is put on the whole, do you buy or do you make spectrum? Which I don't really get. It's like, sure, I make some cosplays, I buy a lot of them or I get them sponsored, but I don't think that makes me a better cosplayer if I make them than if I buy them or vice versa. But what bothers me is that a trend with popular cosplayers is that they buy cosplays and then they're like, hey, look at this cosplay I made or look at this cosplay I bought and then I completely remade it and modified it. When you look at like the place they bought it from and then you look at their modified version and they're the exact same and you're like, Maybe you safety pinned it and that was your modification, but apart from that, there's nothing diff there's no difference. But you know, it just like, it feels so gross and so weird that you're like, that popular cosplayers feel the need to like make their cosplays and justify that. And then they like, they just lie about it. And I can, it's weird. I can think of so many cosplayers that do this too. Ah! But for me, it's like, yeah, I really, um, the majority of the cosplays I have, I buy because like, Fabric's so expensive, even with my employee discount, that's only 20%. It's expensive, it's time consuming. I don't really have time for it, but I, like I wanna cosplay. Although I am working on like a couple cosplays right now, which I'm really excited for. Woo! So like I buy a majority of it, but I'm never gonna be like, oh, look at this cosplay I made when I actually bought it, cause that feels gross. I don't know, it's just like, why? You can very easily tell, at least I can, maybe that's because like my mom grew a quilt store, I work in a fabric shop for one of my jobs. One glance and I'm like, okay, why are you lying about, you know, making that? Like I can, I can see it. Or you find the exact like cosplay that they bought online and you're like, okay, well, you didn't make this because I found it online or like you said in another post that you bought it and like linked it. It just, why? Is it really that important? I don't get it. It doesn't make you any less of a cosplayer. Like who cares if you buy it or if you make it? You're still, at the end of the day, you're still a nerd in a costume. It's like, it's about having fun. Who cares? My last point of today, oh, you're welcome because this is a really long video is when cosplayers get called out for their BS. We're gonna point to the recent example, who will remain nameless, of, hey, she finally got called out for sexual assault after like five years of photos and videos of her sexually assaulting people have been released. And she finally gets called out for it and she's like, here's a video of me crying and me saying I'm sorry and that I'm not going to attend any future conventions for the next six months or so, I'm not going to Katsu anymore. I'm not going to, what are other conventions? Uh, I'm not going to this con or that con. Their next post is their lineups of the cosplays they're bringing to that convention that they just said they're not going to because they need time to reflect on their actions and think about whether they should continue to be a cosplay influence or not. And it feels like so strange talking about this because I feel so gross and petty, but at the same time, it's like, Someone needs to someone really needs to talk about this because it's not it's not okay The problem is that like we just we put up these people into like influential positions Influencers with power that don't deserve to be up there like they are just genuinely not good people They have shady acts they use it to their advantage for their self gain when in reality if we should have people up there people who are popular 
who get there because they're passionate about it. They want to be role models. They want to inspire. They love cosplay and that's that's why. They just love it. They want to like inspire other people to love cosplay. I don't I don't want to see people getting popular because you know they're super pretty or having them be popular because you know they're looting up characters or jumping on bandwagons when really they have these bad intentions. I just want to see people get popular because they love it and they have talent and they're having a fun time. Like just be just be a good role model. It's not that hard to do. It's not hard to be a good role model if you're a good person. So just be a good person, I guess. And maybe that's hypocritical because feeling like making this video doesn't make me a very good person, I'll admit. <laughs> but like, someone needed to say it and I'm fine with it being me. And like, I'm fine if I lose followers for this. I'm fine if like, you guys hate on me for this or whatever, but we need to change this. Like, we need to change the community. We need to step up, or at least some people need to step up and take these positions as actual good role models. And these other cosplayers who are popular right now, they need to just own up to their actions. Please, just own up to your actions, change for the better. Stop, stop being so focused on your follower count and how many likes you get and like how much money can I make off of this and start actually caring about your audience. I keep trying to justify this too, I'm sorry. But for me, it's like I've been there, I've been super obsessed. I've done most of these things that I've listened. I've gone through phases for all of these and like I've come out of it a better and stronger person. I've come out of it with more self-confidence and I'm on the track of making the content that that I make because I want to. Like sure my Voltron videos are bandwagon but like I love making them. I get to do them with my significant other and it's just like yay. But I'm, I'm doing the content I want because I love it and I'm getting an audience for that and it feels so good and gratifying. It doesn't feel like gross when I think about the fact that like my Instagram, I have those amount of followers because I went through this weird social media obsessed phase where I was so self-conscious and so, oh my god, I need this many likes. Now I'm doing it for fun. It's so much better. It feels like weights have been lifted off my shoulder. I'm so much happier and I'm in this place where I just want to inspire people. I'm like, I'm in a position where I'm here like, you don't need to look like an 11 out of 10. You don't need to be a supermodel to cosplay. If you have like, you know, your square jaw like me, if you have a big nose like me or you are stick thin, Nothing there like me, even if you are the exact opposite, you know, you are super tiny, super curvy, super tall, short, whatever. Like, I want you to cosplay. I want to see you cosplay. I want to see you gain an audience, gain friends, gain interactions and experiences and opportunities for it, especially if it's something you love. And I'm sorry, I'm like, I'm ranting about this. I'm just, ah! I could talk about this for 80 million years, but I'll wrap it up here. Just... Be a role model for other people. You never know who you're influencing. Try to think of your audience. Try to think of your friends. Try to be who you want to be in the future. And uh, that concludes my rant about popular cosplayers and my cosplay community thing. Let me know down below if you want to see more rants because I'm debating making one on my job at the Renaissance Fair. Another one about the Love Life community, which I talked about before, but they still terrify me. <laughs> I'm legitimately scared of them. And like used cosplay sellers, they're so messed up. And like, I have a few other ideas for rants, so let me know if you want to see those. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. I know this isn't a video you wanted to see. You guys want to see fun like Voltron vlogs and like shippy things. But this is like the video I needed to make. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all soon.